Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial or if you're a new subscriber around here, thank you so much for hanging with me. You made the right decision. I wanted to make this video today more specific towards Mac OS users so I could show you guys how you can record your gameplay audio off of your PlayStation 4, Xbox, using your Elgato game capture. But we're not just stopping there, folks. That's a little bit too easy and something I've already just went over a million times on this channel to be honest. I'm gonna show you guys how you can listen and record that gameplay audio in addition to the desktop audio at the same time while it's being recorded using Slabs, Slobs, Streamlabs, OBS, and OBS. It's just, it's literally the settings are the same, so you guys can follow this tutorial for both of those applications. If I were to recommend any prerequisites for this video, I would highly recommend picking up the Elgato HD60S Plus. I know I feel like I've been and an ad for it, but, and I'm not even getting paid by Elgato, by the way. They, they might have given me the capture card for free, but I'm not being paid to endorse them. But the only reason why I say this is because they don't have lag on that capture card. I also have the HE60S, which it can work for this tutorial, but not so great. You're, you're gonna hear the audio just slightly delayed and I mean, it could affect your gameplay experience. So. If you want to have the best thing, I would go with having the Elgato HD60S Plus. I'd also highly recommend having a pair of headphones you can plug into your computer. I know some of you guys use those headsets on the PlayStation so you can talk to the party chat and all that, but in this case, you'd want a second microphone or a USB microphone that you can plug into the PlayStation so that your voice can still be heard to party members on the PlayStation. So to get this started, you first wanna download the software that will allow you to record the system audio on your Mac OS. Unfortunately, Mac OS, Mojave, Catalina, whichever one of those you might have right now, it doesn't allow you to record audio at the system level. So you, that's why you need software to be able to do that for you. It's not as easy as Windows, which is why I'm doing a tutorial on Mac because on Windows, you guys have it a little bit easier and there's already a bunch of tutorials on that already, but not so much for Mac. So. Let's continue. You wanna to navigate to shinywhitebox.com. I also left a link description below. Navigate to the green buttons here. If you have Catalina or Mojave, click on that right button that says Catalina go here. And when you go there, you can download the installer for Mojave or Catalina. So after you select that, you will go through the normal installation process. Very easy, there's a whole bunch of documentation here, guys. It's pretty straightforward. If for some reason you get a pop-up saying, unknown source can install this for security reasons, all you need to do is go over to the top left-hand side of your screen, click on that Apple logo, go to system preferences. And then within your system preferences, you wanna go to security and privacy. And then in the general tab, you'll see down below where it says allow apps downloaded from. You just wanna click on the lock there and allow the application to be downloaded. Now that you have the I show you audio capture device installed, you now wanna go and search up the MIDI audio setup. In here, you're gonna to wanna to create a multi output device. So you won't have this by default. You're gonna to have to click this plus icon and then select create multi output device right here. When you do that, you wanna make sure your master device is I show you audio capture. I left the sample rate at 48 kilohertz. And then at the bottom here for use, you wanna check off I show you audio capture and also built-in output. Now that you set up your audio preferences, you wanna go back into your system preferences, go into sound, and before you do this next step, make sure you have your volume at the desired level that you want. Because after you've done this, you won't be able to adjust your master system volume. If you're good to go, go ahead and select the multi output device under the output tab. And now once you load up Streamlabs OBS, you'll want to add the I show you audio capture in your audio mixer. So if you don't know how to do that, go ahead over to the left hand side here and click on your settings, go to audio. And then down here, you can select your one of your auxiliary devices here to be the I show you audio capture. Once you've completed that, you'll be able to record your desktop audio on your Mac, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If it's not working, restart your computer and you should be good. At this point, I can even plug in my headphones and I'll still be able to record the audio, no problem at all. But now the next thing here, I wanna hear my gameplay audio and my desktop audio at the same time while I'm playing. So maybe I'm trying to listen to some jams while cranking the 90s, you know what I mean? So to set that up properly, you wanna go over here to your audio mixer again and go over here to the advanced audio settings. And then within here, I see my Game Capture HD60S Plus audio. 
It's right now at that monitor off, which means I won't hear it at all, but it will be recorded in my final gameplay. What I want to do instead is do monitor and output. So that way I'll be able to hear it through my headphones as well as it being recorded at the same time. And for Yeti, this is my microphone that I use to for commentary. Keep that to monitor off unless you want to hear your voice. Uh, I usually don't like hearing my voice while I'm streaming. And then for I show you audio capture, this is going to be your desktop audio. You want to keep that at monitor off, but it'll still be recorded. Something else you can keep in mind if you're using Discord to talk to your friends or whatever while you're playing your game on stream. For your voice and video settings in Discord, you want to make sure your input device is whichever mic you want your friends to hear you with. And here's the important part. Your output device needs to be the default multi-output device aggregate. So that way, whoever you're chatting with in Discord is also going to be able to be recorded. You can go ahead to your notification settings. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to turn on and off different sound notifications that you might not want making noises while you're streaming. So you know what? Let's give this a test. I want to get somebody on a Discord call, listen to them while playing some music at the same time, while hearing my gameplay audio coming through my PlayStation all to my Mac OS at the same time and see how it sounds. Uh, there's some people up, uh, southeast 144. Okay. Over by oh, yeah, farm. I see him. Got him. Alright, they killed that guy. Are they shooting at you? Yeah. Oh, yeah they shooting at us. He doesn't build. Nice. They're oh, he's got a rocket. Me. He's got a rocket. No. Nice. And he's got a nice weapon here for you. So what is it? Is that wow, he was stacked. So that was a quick video example of what my audio would output as if I was streaming this. But let's say you guys want to match a similar audio quality to what I just showed you. What you'd want to do in your mixer settings is have your game capture audio almost pushing yellow, not quite in there, but around there. And then for your main microphone recording your commentary, in my case it's the Yeti microphone, I want to have that pushing in the yellow pretty fully so that my voice is over everything else that's being recorded. And then lastly for the desktop audio, you want to have that anywhere in the middle green to the upper green, just wherever you feel comfortable. The volume of the source application is actually more important in this case. Let's say I'm playing Spotify. I don't want that to be too loud or else it will be very loud on my stream. So you want to have that down if you're hearing it loud through your headphones it's going to be loud through the stream essentially hopefully those tips around balancing your audio for your stream was helpful but as always if you have a question feel free to leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit it with the big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i will catch you guys in my next video you guys stay healthy stay safe get some sleep <laughs> i don't know whatever you like <laughs> i'll see you guys later peace